In this tutorial I will show you the main functions to start creating your images with realistic lighting. First we noticed how to handle the mouse with the right button to frame the scene, like a camera. With the mouse's central button it is possible to move the camera to the sides, for small positioning adjustments. The core idea is to allow complete control over your creation and the best angle to bring your 3D creation to life. One of the options that will be used a lot is the rotation of the entire mesh, so that in a presentation of a single piece it is possible to show all the characteristics of your creation. After clicking on the rotation selection box, use the right mouse button to rotate the part to the desired position. Pay attention to the fact that when the rotation checkbox is selected, it will not be possible to select a part of the model with a double-click to change materials. By the way, this is another intuitive function to manipulate the parts of your model. Double-click on the part you want to edit. This will open a material editing box in the main menu so that you can make the necessary changes according to your preference. Mesh Render has a selections menu where you can select tabs with materials, HDRs, textures, and background images. Within each tab are controls at the bottom where you can make changes to your preference. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to change materials and HDRs with a simple click on the selection of your choice. We can also control the rotation of the chosen HDR using the rotation bar in the HDR tab. We can also control the rotation of the chosen HDR using the rotation bar in the HDR tab. Another option also found in this tab is the brightness of the HDR, which we can easily change in the bar called scale. The third gamma control bar is a more advanced option for HDR control, but for beginners it is not advisable to mess with it. In the textures tab we can mix the main color of the material with the color of a second texture. This makes it possible to add skin detailing to the goblin model that I created in Mesh Molder. I'm going to change it up a bit and control the mix level as an example of use. Continuing in our selection tabs we arrive at the color tab, where it is possible to change the main color of the material of the selected part. Continuing through the selection menu tabs on the right of the screen, we arrive at the background tab, used in the final composition of your image. In it we find several images that can be used as the background of the final image or even we have the possibility to load our own background image through the bottom button of this tab. Okay everyone, now it's time for the final rendering of our renderer and for that we click on render in the application bar.
or the preference box will open. In it we have access to several options for the final render. We can set a maximum render time, image resolution, and even effects like caustic. MeshRender is a low-cost software with a perpetual license of only $20. No monthly fees and no usage limits. If you are interested in new functions from later versions, just purchase the new version for the same price.